In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Gladness with holy joys, Almighty God, and make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving. For the ascension of Christ your Son is an exaltation, and where the head has gone before in glory, the body is called to follow. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory be to you, O Lord. Jesus showed himself to the eleven and said to them, Go out to the whole world, proclaim the good news to all creation. He who believes and is baptized will be saved. He who does not believe will be condemned. These are the signs that will be associated with believers. In my name, you will cast out devils. They will have the gift of tongues. They will pick up snakes in their hands and be unharmed. Should they drink deadly poison, they will lay their hands on the sick who will recover. And so the Lord Jesus, after he had spoken to them, was taken up into heaven. There at the right hand of God, he took his place while they, going out, preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word by the signs that accompanied it. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, happy feast day of the ascension of our Lord. What does that mean for us, the ascension? The ascension? It's very simple. Jesus came from heaven. He descended onto the earth and he goes back into heaven. But this time, he goes back to sit at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us to continue the work of salvation he began while on earth. That is important for us to know. And how is he continuing it? Very soon, 10 days after his ascension, he fulfilled the promise of the Holy Spirit. We can only continue the work and be ambassadors of Christ and work for Christ if we are in tune with him through the power of the Holy Spirit. He called his disciples and for 40 days he was teaching them, helping them to understand, helping them to know the mission helping them to seek that relationship with him through the Holy Spirit. To accomplish the work that he has begun through his apostles, they needed that Holy Spirit because he made a promise. And there was a promise by John the Baptist, I baptize you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. So the disciples are arms of our Lord, the ambassadors of our Lord Jesus Christ, just as the priest is, and he gave them the Holy Spirit to baptize. But he could only leave this earth to send the Holy Spirit. the Holy Spirit, the Advocate. And he gave us this wonderful gift. 
to continue on that journey, to continue that mission, to go out and to bear fruit, fruit that will last. And the fruit he wants us to bring along the face of this earth and to everyone on, on earth, the fruit of love. If we have love, we can be united. If we have love, we can allow the kingdom of heaven to manifest itself here on earth. If we have love, God is with us. So he calls us. And when he says that his believers can drink poison and cast out devils, it is through the power of the Holy Spirit, Christ working in us. That is the love that he has for us. The love to bring us all back into the family of God. Now we have a saying that we are blessed. Are we really blessed? Yes, we might be. We should be. We could be. But do we act as though we are blessed? Do we act as though we have the Holy Spirit within us? Do we act as though the love of Jesus manifests itself in us? And what is he saying to us? By our works, they will know our faith. We will be able to show our faith because of the wonderful things that God is doing in our life. And I th these are things that we need to cherish out of love. Not because I have a gift, not because I speak to the Lord or the Lord speaks to me, but simply because he has blessed us, he has called us, he has chosen us, he has anointed us. In this manner, he says to us that he is going back to the Father and he's making room for us so that if we follow him, we too will ascend into heaven to sit with him, to be with him. And what is it showing to us also? What is it showing to us? We have overcome the power of Satan through Jesus Christ. He did it by his passion, death, and resurrection, and now his ascension. And we will ascend. So let us take the cross that he has given to us. Let us learn the ways that Jesus is teaching us. Let us learn the healing power of his love in our life. This is a time of preparation for us also, a time of preparation for the Holy Spirit. Let us take away our sins, leave our sins behind, leave our traumas behind, leave, leave our doubts and our fears behind, and put ourselves into an intimate relationship with our Lord so that our hearts and our minds will be open to the reception of the Holy Spirit that we may do the work of God, continue the work that Jesus began when he was upon earth, and change the world. We sing this beautiful song, what the world needs now is love, sweet love. And yet we are hearing all the wars, and all the violence, all the hatred, all the animosity, but do we hear about love? We criticize, we condemn, we chastise. Do we hear of forgiveness, the healing power of love in our life? 
Yet, that is what we are called to journey towards, the healing power of love through forgiveness of sins. That is how, in the name of Jesus, we will cast out devils, we will be unharmed, and we will walk the path that our Lord has created for us, a path to salvation. May the merciful and compassionate love of God be upon us and let us prepare ourselves. Use this time to really get into ourselves to be united with our Lord Jesus Christ in love, in grace, and in mercy. Peace be with you. And may the love of God reign in your hearts always. And now let us bow our heads as we have our final prayer that will bring us into the realm of the kingdom of God. Almighty, ever-living God, who allow those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant, we pray, that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May he come upon you and give you his peace.